for having standards. And the beauty of standards is standards will always expose those who come with an agenda. And your emotional intelligence and biblical standards will always frustrate those who can't run game on you. It will always frustrate manipulators. Then what you have to be careful of is manipulators will try to project on you. They'll start to say things like, you got trust issues. How about, this is not trust issues. This is, I've seen this pattern before and I refuse to entertain the same pattern of being deceived because I compromised my standards. To have standards is to be aware of your value. To have standards is to be aware that God set your value to priceless. Now, the danger in allowing people to give you value or give you significance is you give them the power to set your price. So you could be more valuable than the whole department store, but you will settle with being on the clearance rack just so that you can get their approval. And it's not a standard if you are not willing to experience loss. If you aren't willing to lose something due to your standard, it's not a standard, it's just a suggestion. Sometimes we have mislabeled victories because if you lost them but found you, you really won. If the relationship failed but now you have a prayer life, you really won. If you didn't get the position but that wasn't what God had to do anyway, you really won. Never apologize.